actually learned about health IT in my last year of nursing. And that was through taking the nursing informatics course. At that time, I didn't really connect nursing informatics and health IT. I still didn't really know that there was a whole health IT space, but I knew that there was a nursing informatics specialty. So along the lines of trying to understand more about what nursing informatics is and how to get there was when I started to really learn about health IT in general and that this nursing informatics specialty really sort of falls into this branch of health IT. Yeah, that whole process definitely took some time. I try not to necessarily like, I want to say glorify how easy this transition may be, right? So it did say, take some time. I worked in a hospital setting for about two and a half years, not very long, because I knew that I didn't want to be in no hospital. I'm not going to lie. So I left that hospital space and just started applying to like some public health jobs, just bunches of stuff I threw out there and I didn't care that it didn't pay as much as you know me being in a hospital I definitely accepted a pay cut applying to a bunch of other sort of like healthcare jobs that says a nurse may be good in this role right it may have not said nurse but it was still a healthcare supported position so how did I make the transition I landed an opportunity at my local public health department as a TB nurse or you could just say public health nurse my official title was public health nurse but I was in the tuberculosis department that role was set up similar to a nurse case manager's role so I had the opportunity to learn about public health but then also kind of learn about uh, what a nurse case manager does, because this is me as a fairly recent nurse coming out of a traditional hospital setting and getting a feel for community health in general and then nurse case management itself, even without truly getting that case manager certification yet. Great experience, but it, it took a pay cut and it took time. I, yes, it started from when I moved here in USA. I moved here from Canada and f when I first try to get healthcare for my kids here, I felt that it is totally different from what we experienced. And I was like uh, confused with this difference and also want to know the reason for this difference. I started my research right there. And during my research, I learned about totally new terms or new thing that is medical coding and billing, which was intriguing for me because I also learned about the profession called medical coders who can work from, and during 2013, concept of work from home was quite new. And as a mother of two small kids, I was really attracted to that concept and started digging more and found out about the health information management profession, which was working as a bridge between clinician or provider and the patient and i was really impressed by the impact professionals are making in healthcare outcomes i decided to pursue my career this because i was thinking about I choose a career path a new country so that was the starting point for me to choose uh, healthcare IT as my career path. I, yes, it started from when I moved here in USA, my research right there. And during my research, I learned about totally new terms or new thing that is medical coding and billing, which was intriguing for me because I also learned about the profession called medical coders who can work from, and during 2013, concept of work from home was quite new. And as a mother of two small kids, I was really attracted to that concept and started digging more and found out about the health information management profession, which was working as a bridge between clinician or provider and the patient and i was really impressed by the impact professionals are making in healthcare outcomes i decided to pursue my career this because i was thinking about I choose a career path a new country so that was the 
a starting point for me to choose uh, healthcare IT as my career path. Yes, my introduction was actually my mom. She was interested in combining this analytical mind and framework with the healthcare field and being able to make an impact that on that, but in a different way. And I said, okay, mom, thanks for letting me know. And I kind of followed along my path through college and I decided, you know, this actually is very interesting. I see where she's coming from. And so I knew that I wanted to combine that kind of left brain, right brain idea of being very analytical minded, being very logical, liking to take things in kind of a step-by-step approach, but also wanting to maintain some sort of like creativity. Um, So I actually did a minor in public health when I was in school as just something kind of like these were my fun classes outside of the the business program and i didn't realize until later that it would actually come into uh, a role and an opportunity that came along so that's how all of those things kind of did and i learned about health it for what that means for me (laughs) yeah i was in pharmacy school on my fourth year rotations And I think it was probably the second or third rotation where I was going around and shadowing the current PGY1 pharmacy resident. And he was telling me about how he wanted to pursue this thing called pharmacy informatics after he graduated. I was like, what the heck is that? I had never heard the term, no idea what it is. And he's like, well, it's a new field that kind of blends the clinical side that we're trained in pharmacy with more of the technical side. And That's kind of all it was that he explained. And then it just drew me and I was like, dug into it, read more about it. And then learned about this whole new field, which still was being defined at the time. And I just loved the idea of, hey, there was a field that combines these technical aspects with clinical and long story short, I am here today. I'm a health informatics analyst. I've been in this field for nearly two years now. It's been great so far. My background is in community health. So I got my bachelor's from Towson University and I've been self trying to figure out what kind of degree that I will get. But I ended up with my public health degree. It's officially the health education degree, but I still consider it like a public health degree. And I went on to be a care coordinator and I was working with pregnant people and newborns and children, which I, I love so much just being able to provide that health education and just having a strong background with the community and being able to just have that grassroots level of building up on that public health field. So I ended up switching over to the health tech side because of TikTok and just being like influenced by all the people in the tech field. I'm like, wow, you guys are really killing it out here. And I just got curious as to how I can combine that public health background that I have with the tech field. And that's how I got to where I am here today. Yes, no, that's a good question. So I would say that my favorite thing about my job is being able to combine my interests and passion for the healthcare field and health tech and to see how tech and data is so influential to health, which is something I really didn't understand before starting my master's of public health. So actually having people who are skilled enough is just as important as having doctors in medicine procurement. So there's different building blocks of the health system and health IT is one of them. And I think just being a part of that and being able to influence health in that way is very nice. And I also really love being able to see all the different organizations and what they're doing. Since I work for a government contractor, it's nice to be able to see what all these organizations are studying and just a lot of orgs that are really diving into finding different payment models to reduce the cost of care and the different organizations looking into how to make healthcare equitable. And I just love being a part of that. I used to work at uh, Kaiser Permanente for about four years as a patient service representative in the radiology department. I work at the front desk scheduling radiology procedures. And the first time I encountered health IT was, I, I've used FAP chart throughout my, my job there, but the first time I was like, oh, okay, this is something that there's a job out there for. In the past, I would think FAP chart was just software that was hard coded that you could uh, edit or customize. But I realized that you were able to do that was when we had a transition of paper forms into pads for filling out a radiology questions before a procedure. So we had a workflow change with Epic and I noticed how powerful health IT can be in in the sense of capturing discrete data, capturing the data that was in the past filled out on the paper form, wasn't able to be accurately used on the back end. 
with software, but now since they can click on this data stored electronically at Epic automatically without having to have this form and then upload it as a PDF to the EHR, everything was automatically just connected. And then it just, it an ancient interest in me in technology. And I just dug into help that team more after that moment, honestly, start applying for analyst role. What I decided to do on the last days of this, it was a contract job. What I decided to do in the last days was reach out to the hiring managers of uh, Epic Analyst and then ask them if they have any openings. So one of them gave me a chance. They were like, we have an opening for patient access Epic Analyst position. And then I was like, cool, okay. can I interview for it? She was like, yes, but you need to take the Sphinx test first. It was a very hard test that it's hard to explain what's on there. So it's not like it's a healthcare. What's your healthcare experience? Like answer this question. It's not like that. GRE. So the exam you take to go into graduate school, it tests you in terms of like you read a passage, right? And then you have to pretty much answer a question based on that passage and your time on that exam. And also there's math in it. So it's a little bit of everything is like general knowledge. So it's not like specifically epic knowledge that you have to learn or know. So I decided to take the Sphinx test and I was like, oh my God, I never heard about this exam. How do you even like review for this exam? So I couldn't find anything online. I mean, let me just take it. I took it and I failed. So I failed my Sphinx test the first time. There was also a pseudo coding part, which is like fake code, which I think they don't do anymore because of how hard it was. So then I kept applying for Epic Alice jobs outside of that healthcare organization. And I got my first break with this company, which was a consulting company that works, it's not just healthcare organizations that can give you or certify you for Epic Analyst positions, but also consulting companies. So this consulting company was working with a healthcare organization and they took over all of their like Epic Analyst department. Just in my experience, fall into it. So it, it's been just pieces over time before you didn't even realize it was health IT. So I don't think of, you, you mentioned how long I've been in the business and I was working at a front desk doing scheduling in notebook and when we had our first computer systems how to even make appointments online how to do that practice management piece and so not even realizing that i was part of that as that's getting implemented so watching that evolution participating in it but i was working in it until if you fast forward quite a bit so i of course used systems and always thinking of how do we make our systems better even or could there be systems that aren't in existence yet i think of like when i did provider credentialing and i had to mail all these verification forms there's got to be a better way and it's going to include this computer right here what is that going to look like so thankfully it's probably evolved a lot my true okay it's really in my role became health IT was in the office, is that what we call them now? After the turn of the century in the 2000s, I was working at a very large student health center. So I moved here and rebooted my career because before that I was in managed care. I did some a lot in clinics. And so I landed at the student health center and really started in the business office, which I did a lot with just very entry level because we didn't do significant procedures, but I was doing coding at, at that point, not it, it sort of working in the system there, moved into as a, it was called medical records supervisor job with open. So that was really impactful. And then, so that was really my intro into, I'm really in health IT, implementing an EHR from beginning to end and then managing it as we go forward. What I learned about health IT is I follow um, a lot of creators in the space of healthcare administration. So anytime there are any creators that are doing similar things or things that may seem adjacent to what I do. I always like to follow them. I always like to support them. And I always like to learn from them because I feel like you learn from everyone. So I follow Health IT. I follow other creators. So anything in the space, ask the biller. I always try to follow because I feel like we learn from each other. So of course I follow you because I learned about Epic and becoming Epic certified through so I learned about, I started working at 17 and stumbled into medical billing and coding because 
I was out of high school and had to figure out really quickly what I was going to do with my life. And medical billing and court, I didn't even understand what it was until I started going to school. Like I thought it was like scheduling appointments. And then when I got into the course, I'm like, oh, this is technical. But I started really like it. And because I was pregnant, I couldn't get a job because no one's going to hire you when you like have a stomach out to here. So I volunteered at a local hospital in Brooklyn and just did a really great job. Like I, I remember one of the nurses in the OBGYN department wrote me a letter of recommendation and I ended up getting hired. And pretty much that's how I got into the field. And gradually when I got hired by SUNY Downstate, I started learning about this whole different world of health informatics. And obviously we were not as advanced in health IT as we are now, but it opened up a whole new world of possibilities. But that all started from a little medical billing certificate where I didn't even really know what medical billing was. Thank <laughs> you.